welcome to another episode on the Shadowtopia server. I'm your host, Chaos. We are on episode number two. And today, we are just going to finish up on some projects that I had mentioned in the previous episode. One of them is an iron farm. Yes, I'm going to be making an iron farm again using the same design that we had from the last server. The Grandma Mommy design. It's simple, it's easy, no redstone at all is ever needed, and it's completely 100% stackable. And that's why I think it's a great design. It takes no more than five minutes to set it up, and I love it. So I'm just working on the killing chamber right now. So I'm just placing... What did I... Because let's see, yeah, I want a space for them... Hmm... I don't know if I should do it on this level and have them drop in. Yeah, let, let's do it on this level. Yeah, I didn't really organize that one very well. But it will have to do. And then we just shift and shift. No. Does that mean it's all done? Yeah, looks like I could probably do a lava... I have a thing to cover the whole thing, maybe on either side. Hmm, I'm not totally convinced that doing that. Maybe we'll do it on this side. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed last episode. I know it was just more of an introduction episode, whereas this one we're gonna go full blown in. Um I do know that that is Doodle and Ender's spot, which they are actually migrating to the other side of, you can't really see it, but they're, this was a big giant island, so they've migrated over there, and we also have another uh, person by the name of, and I hope I say this right, Raylith, Raylithy, something like that, a good friend of Doodle, and she has also come to join us on this island, so there's going to be four people on this island, um, I should hopefully be able to make a map of the island and then that way we can kind of keep an eye I've also started a breeder right there now I didn't bother to put a roof on it since the fact is well we're on the mushroom biome so I don't need to worry about zombies or anything which is perfect the light is there just to kind of light things up alright well once I get the lava and the actual killing part well actually I'll, I'll finish this up and then we'll put the lava in very last and that way we can that way we don't lose anything if we if we happen to have things fall i know it's tripping so if we actually do this we'll see what it looks like and it's just you know simple enough we'll have it on the edge here so all, the, all they do is just drop down and then they just go like that so that's probably what i'll do uh right about now get things all ready well I've done it. I got the four pods all finished. Uh, currently just getting, I've got these two with villagers. I still need to get two more. Uh, like I said, that small little village breeder doesn't really breed too much just because I have them sitting right there. Uh, so I'm slowly building those two. But I did get, and get this, I got a drowned in there. Uh, can't really find a zombie, but I found a drowned while I was building a little platform for spawn uh, during the night and sure enough I found a drone thought I'd give it a test run and it worked <laughs> so a drone is up there and he's actually holding an item so I didn't even have to name tag him and well I, w I mean wish we could see it now but it is working I have one pod completely working and I've been AFK here for about maybe 20 minutes or so and I like I've been getting a lot like it, it's working so we have the iron farm all working now and I just need it to now there we go see now because they lands on the side I decided to put up a little two wall and then eventually they will drop in uh, they are far enough away that they won't register so even if they stay there for a while, I'll still be able to get them coming down. And then he just goes down. 
and there we go. So I think our next goal, now because we are far away with uh, Ra Wraith, I'm, ju I'm just calling her Wraith, I know it's like, I know it's like Ray Rayleith or something like that. Uh, Doodle even told me how to pronounce it and I still butcher it, so I, I do apologize for that, but I'm just going to call you Wraith, uh, Doodle's friend. And we got Doodle and Ender. They got rid of their little hut. that They had moved all the way to the other side of the island. So our next goal is we're going to create a little mini hub, a mini nether hub for between the four of us. And we're also going to make a tunnel to the main nether hub because we're about 900 blocks away. Yes, 700 that way and 200 that way. And... We need to get there fast, so I'm going to search for some packed ice to get things rolling. Well, I decided to take a little break from the iron farm. I got two of them done, but being on a mushroom island, it kind of is hard to get some of the mobs. So I've volunteered to help out with building the our nether hub. And it kind of is helpful, especially when I'm like, oh, I don't know, 900 blocks away. And apparently I'm not the only one. So I've been helping Finn out and Loki has too. Loki is one of the new members on our server. He's a pretty cool guy. He's from Australia. So we got an Aussie with us. So this is what we're doing. I've we've done a lot of another brick. A lot of another brick. Uh, that's where our tunnel goes. We also have a shopping district. We also have few others and basically all the paths will lead here and various other other tunnels uh there's one thing i want to show before we continue on is that urgar has made his tunnel a nice stone brick with chiseled and i'm not a big fan of chiseled bricks at all but urgar good job of making them actually look good like I don't know how you do it. Uh, so yeah, uh, decide to come work on this for a little bit. So that's probably what we'll do for a little bit now. Well, before I went to bed last night, I ended up getting three out of the four pods working. That one, I did get a monster in it. Uh, it spawned it while carrying a sword. Well, I guess that doesn't count as them holding an item. So he despawned it. So I just got to get the one up there, which I think I have a clever way of doing it because I had already put the water in. So once I get that, then I should be golden. But I AFK'd for about eight hours, eight, eight and a half hours, and decided to see how much I made. So let's see here. And ho, oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> you know what this means? We have enough for the iron shop. Yes, that's what we're going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to design, but I think I... Oh, yeah. We are back in business for iron. Because as far as I know, I'm the only one that made the iron farm. Um, I know Diamond on the last server made a really nice one, which did out muscle mine, yes, but, but his was more complex than mine was. Uh, he used um, Blendscraft, uh, the X-Iron XR, farm, and that produced more than mine, but, I mean, heck, to each their own, but that gives me a lot in eight hours. So if I AFK every night, I should be, I should be in business. Well, on this lovely rainy evening, we've got in the shopping district the first official shop because we got all those little mini shops up there. And what better way than to bring Iron Heights back from Shadow or Townsend to Shadowtopia? Yes, that is correct. We've got all these different products coming soon, so things like uh, anvils and probably like iron products, but mainly the big sell is this one. One diamond per two stacks of iron. And I think that's a good price. Uh, I did do a little bit of a mini sale and it sold 
a stack of iron blocks for four diamonds, which if you really put it to it, it's it was like the same, but you got one more stack for free. So I think that's a good price, especially for starting out. So like you don't want to, yeah, I'm the only one selling iron, or the only one with the iron shop, but I don't want to overprice and then people won't buy it. So I think that's a good price. Uh, maybe do some sales here and there, but we have it. Iron Heights is now open for business. Well, we're back at our iron farm, and I finally got the fourth one in there. And for some strange reason, the villagers kept piling in two to one. And I already had the zombie in there, so after about ten minutes of fiddling with it, I finally got it finished. And it works like a charm. So four pods are all going at once. They're dropping in there, and I'm getting a lot of iron. So, yeah, that will be basically stocking up our little iron shop. Now on to the next project, which if you recognize these rails, then you might think from the last series, this, wait, I just remembered you guys didn't see this because of my video corruption. I am building the Emerald Factory that was designed by Cortez Arino. I'm going to be doing a bit of a modification uh, because in this part, we have melon and pumpkin, wheat, carrots, and potatoes all in, a, in one chunk. It's compact. It's really nice. The only issue is that was for 1.13. With 1.14, the villagers for wheat have dramatically changed. So I'm actually going to cut out the wheat because I have my own little manual farm up there. And so with the villagers that I have here, I'm going to only grab a couple to basically trade with for the uh, farmers and we would basically get a lot of emeralds raking in and yeah i'm gonna also design a trading hall around the area so i'm gonna build up the emerald factory first then i'm going to tra do the trading hall in a u-shaped and we're right underneath the village breeder so when the uh little babies get breeded and they come down they just drop straight down into this little hole uh so we've got that coming that's going to be our next little project for this episode hopefully i can get it done uh for this episode uh got a little, still a few things i gotta gather uh like lighting source and redstone to get to all the pistons and thank goodness for crawling because it's a lot easier to do that now uh put the pistons up then put the dirt and all that jazz then put the uh stuff while i crawl so that's gonna be that's gonna be our next project well i have completed it i finally completed and i even have the couple of villagers both have started off with the potato and carrots and the pumpkins and the melons the exact four trades that I wanted. I, like I said before, I had skipped the wheat level uh, of the um, this Emerald Factory just for the sake of the fact that the carrots and potatoes act a little differently than the wheat does. And I have a little wheat farm outside that I can easily just get. And frankly, they're not the best of trades and they're a lot, lot harder to get. So... Uh, and surprisingly, I actually don't have any ability for wheat or potato, but I got both starters for potatoes and carrots. And yeah, I even got like suspicious stew and the golden carrots is main reason. Uh, so within this little trade, I've already made about 60. So I kept this and this is going to be like extra storage for different items. I probably because I've started to dig out a little here this is where the trading hall is going to be. So I'll have little villagers on each side all the way around. And probably down the middle will be the entrance up to the roof. Or I guess outside. And if we just go up here, this is where I had my little uh, village. And it's been going for quite a while. So I have a lot there. Which it works out perfectly. The villagers easily get picked up. No problem. I should have enough. 
Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and that, and ring the bell for notifications. That way you get notified on any and all videos that I put up. Uh, if you liked it, like this video, give it a like. And yeah, comment below on how you're enjoying the series so far. I know we're only two episodes in. I know it's been a while since our little intro. I have been doing some pre-recording. Uh, so hopefully I'll get these on pretty soon. And yeah, uh, this is Chaos, so I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's all work, no play, and it's getting me down, 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 getting me down.